So, hello everyone. Yeah, this is kind of a fun uh, setup I have uh, for today because I'm trying out something new. Um, I'm trying to um, uh, record this uh, kind of live. I'm not uh, live streaming because I don't have the ability right now to uh, live stream. Um, so therefore I uh, try this new setup, uh, um, filming and uh, recording while I'm working and also covering some subjects that I would like to talk about uh, a little bit more or maybe uh, some, um, some subjects or some topics you came up with. Uh, so if you have something nice and would you like to uh, uh, mention something that I could talk about, um, please leave that in the comment section below this uh, video. And I'm gonna ta uh, call these ones uh, studio sessions, live uh, of uh, kind of live art vlogs things. I will come up with a nice name. I don't have a name yet, but I have um, the subject for today is uh, how to become a professional uh, hobbyist artist. Yeah, well, because I uh, I like to uh, talk about that um, a little bit more. I will do that. I will start working first. Uh, and also I'd like to mention, uh, so I will come back to the subject obviously, uh, I'd like to mention that I have uh, ordered a webcam and that should be here by tomorrow. So the next time I'm planning to uh, also film in my um, palette and my palette is uh, beneath this camera so that's why I'm looking uh, like this while I'm talking about the uh, palette. But I thought it would be nice to show the palette uh, so you can see me mix the colors and uh, whatever I do with the paint while I'm working. With, uh, with paint obviously. And today I'm working with acrylic paints and this uh, will be uh, obviously my next tutorial, my next painting for any uh, tutorial. And it's a sperm uh, whale um, basically swimming, flying in the sky with uh, earth, the earth and I hope you can see it. I have uh, my arrow camera here, you can see it at this, with this camera and that will show the image uh, like it uh, like does normally in my tutorials but here you see the earth and um, yeah I will talk about it uh, uh, when it's finished I'm not going that today but it will be uh, my new uh, painting and also if I look like this I am watching my screen because my screen is next to my easel I have my uh, references there and if I'm doing it right, I will quite often look like uh, that uh, uh, to that side because I'm watching my references. Uh, so that is covered. So now you know uh, a bit more about the, the setup. And uh, here I have my water, my uh, um, brushes, and all the things that I use am using while I'm working. But like I said, I hope to have the uh, next time a uh, webcam so you can see that as well. Alright, uh, what I will do now is I will try, uh, I, will, I will start to um, glaze the whole uh, sperm whale because as you can see there are a lot of details going on but they don't make that much sense right now because they have kind of uh, all uh, different colors. So they need to make more sense and I'm doing that by giving them a, a hint of a, a color uh, of the whole piece and um, because I've just started this one. Um, when I'm uh, working uh, uh, more in the end of the painting, I'm like almost uh, getting to the finish of the painting, I will glaze little uh, areas. But today, I, at least for now, I start with a, a big uh, section of glazing. So I will do that now and I have to mix up a little bit of paint for that. So I will do that now and I have to watch the color. I will try to be as close as I can. I'm not worried about the exact color at this moment because I can adjust it very easily uh, later on, but I try to be kind of close, if that makes sense. But I think you get a point. All right, so I will start it here, and then after this, I let it dry, and I probably will uh, use my head. Can you see me still? Yes. I uh, need to get uh, adjusted and used to this setup. And like I said, it's quite new, new for me. Those, so I don't know if I have the cameras in the right positions yet, but um, we shall see when I'm adding, adding, editing this. Oh my god, some words are very hard in English. Uh, as you already know uh, by now is that English is not my uh, first language, it's uh, my third, if I'm, yeah, my third language. I speak Dutch and uh, Frisian, I don't know if, uh, if you call it like that, but uh, uh, we do speak two languages here and um, English is my, uh, my third language. 
and I'm not 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 very good at English. I think I am getting uh, better at it because I'm uh, making tutorials, so I have to be better at it obviously because otherwise nobody will know where I'm talking about. And also I want to learn it. But yeah, so please forgive me if I do something wrong. If I'm saying something wrong, it's not on purpose. It's just um, me learning English, I think. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I thought um, for a long time, and I will come to the subject uh, very soon, but for a long time uh, before I started tutorials, uh, that was uh, the biggest f uh, problem for me, not mm, not being very confident uh, speaking English, and especially for in front of a camera. But um, yeah, it took about a year to um, convince myself to start this, and I'm really happy because I really like it. And a lot of people don't mind and they know what I'm talking about and they uh, also know that I uh, try my best. But uh, yeah, I uh, like I said, I think I'm learning and I know I'm practicing my English uh, quite often because I uh, really uh, like to make those tutorials. And uh, so yeah, therefore it's very handy. Alright, that's it and done. And now, as you can see, glazing. I'm starting to glaze. It's not a huge difference. I think you can... Uh, see you can notice but it will make a big difference in the end it's just a thin layer I'm just covering up a little bit of um, the previous areas that I did I did paint in uh, earlier today I did uh, this uh, afternoon had some time over so I did paint and I made those details in there and I thought well I'm going to glaze tonight and um, while well, I'm uh, trying this new setup and like I said, it's also, I, I think it's fun. And I, I think it's uh, also nice to uh, talk about a little bit more subjects that I don't have the time uh, to talk about in the regular tutorials because it's uh, uh, it's too short. It's, for me, it's too short. I don't think you can cover up uh, everything. And also, I think uh, when you are finding my tutorials, you are one, one to watch those tutorials because you... Uh, maybe one uh, learn something this so therefore it's not very handy for me to talk about all kind of different things and uh, so therefore I came up with the um, um, studio vlogs the art studio vlogs and this is episode number one so welcome and I will try my best and like I said I have um, if you have um, some subjects please let me know I will uh, try to include them so but for now yeah I uh, did give this uh, this uh, first uh, studio uh, artist vlog section the title of how to become to become a, a professional hobbyist in art. But that I mean, um, when I started out uh, painting, I um, did had a few lessons uh, uh, in, uh, with a uh, tutor with a mentor. I don't know how to call it, but. There were only uh, were only five lessons, and I, I did quit because it wasn't completely my style. It wasn't it was a, a good um, tutor, art tutor, but it wasn't my style. So I uh, therefore I did quit, and uh, I uh, went searching online. So I came uh, quite quickly across YouTube, and uh, especially Lisa from Luckily Fine Art. I really really like her, and really like her style of painting, and I think she is a great great tutor. And uh, I've learned a, a lot from her, and you will see uh, a lot of things. Um, it's kind of similar that she does because I uh, learned uh, quite a lot from her. But I also learned uh, my own things, my own techniques, and uh, from other artists, and I included that and made it my own and uh, included my own uh, experience. So, um, and that is what I'm trying to uh, show you and. and um, uh, share with you basically but yeah how to become a um, professional hobbyist when I started painting I uh, really really did like those uh, very beautiful uh, professional artists artworks and um, no, yeah sometimes the artists but uh, not always the artists but especially the artworks and um, I thought that I couldn't do that because I didn't uh, I, yeah, I didn't have the time uh, to to um, become a full-time artist. So therefore I thought, well, yeah, I can do this as a hobby, but is there a chance, if you do it like a uh, for a hobby, to be as good as those professional artists? 
and it kept me from painting and drawing a while, especially for painting. I was drawing a lot before, but not painting because I thought, yeah, what's this? What's the sense of uh, starting to paint if I'm not going to be as good as uh, those other ones? And um, I think there is enough place. Oh, and I have some coffee, so sometimes I will I take a sip of my coffee, like I do now. Um, So that was something that I was uh, struggling with. I didn't. Um, yeah, of course. If you like painting, you should you should paint. Um, but yeah, I like to. Uh, if I'm doing something of learning something, I will try to get as good at, in it as I can. That's just me. I like to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, uh, there's something. Yeah, I like to uh, try that. To try to be as good and to try where where um, how far I can come. Um, by uh, in, in practicing uh, for in this case art and how good I can become as an artist and even though if it um, is as a hobbyist I try to uh, get as good as I can because I want I just want to make a nice art a nice art is very um, personal of course because what is nice art but I had something in mind and when I started out I would um, I'm referring to um, Photorealism, not uh, hyperrealism, that's a very big uh, difference, but photorealism. And eventually I would try to make my own images, uh, images. and uh, <laughs> this is also kind of hard work, but um, my own, um, yeah, dreamy world, try to paint uh, things that I see, things that I feel onto a canvas. But yeah, I, uh, I had to learn a lot and now with this uh, surrealistic uh, items that I'm painting, I think I'm gonna I'm close, and uh, maybe I am there where I wanted to be when I started uh, painting art of where I was dreaming of. Because I didn't know I could end up there. Because, uh, like I said, I thought that I I do it for a hobby, so I don't know if I'm going to be um, as good as at basically at the same level as a, a professional artist. And that sounds like I think that I am now. May, maybe I am, but I don't watch my artwork in the sense that I'm comparing it to a professional artist and I need to be there or me, need to be on the same level. I did it in the beginning, I'm doing it not now. I am trying to find my art like I like it. And if that means for somebody who is watching my art that it is uh, on a professional level or not, that's all about uh, up to them. They may uh, I have their own opinions about it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just making what I like to make and try to be as good in it as I can. And I think um, uh, that I'm starting to get into uh, the more advanced levels, all the, uh, not, not all the time, but quite some time, if you should ask me, because of that, I learned quite a lot of techniques. But now, yeah, I don't know why you, uh, when you can say that you are a professional. I think the most of the times uh, people uh, uh, are uh, related that subject to if uh, they make money out of the, uh, out of it, out of their art. So therefore, I uh, came up with this title because I I did think that I I thought that when I'm making money with my art, I am a professional. Or when I can uh, pay all my of my bills, uh, then I'm considered a professional. If I cannot do that, even my art is uh, is really good, I'm not a professional. Well, that it can if you look at it that way. It it makes sense in some kind of way, but um, well, I, I'm not sure about that because. I don't think it does make sense to be honest. I know it sounds weird because I mentioned it, but no. If you ask me as a person, I don't think it makes sense because um, it's not about money. You need money, of course. You need money to buy art supplies and to uh, pay your bills and that kind of. But it hasn't. It doesn't include the level that you are painting on, because um, that that has nothing to do with money. It's just. How often you paint, how much you practice, and that kind of stuff for me. And uh, if people like it, if a lot of people like it, or, or the, the the Pacific uh, group of uh, people, because uh, if you are painting um, 
more abstract I think you have you have to get a uh, really um, it's harder to find an audience for that I think I'm not an abstract painter I, I really don't know it but I think if I see that uh, what I see on happen on uh, online I think it's kind of harder because people like to see and like to recognize what they see on a canvas or in a drawing is my experience so therefore I think it's a bit harder but um, yeah, so I don't think that you always um, need to refer to uh, making money out of it and then you are a professional, if that makes sense. Just my own opinion, you don't have to agree with it, obviously, but uh, so, but that, that also um, kept me from making uh, art, or, um, well, uh, how do we put that, it, 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 um, having the trust in myself to getting better, that's better said. Having the, the trust in myself to get better in art because I thought, well, I'm, I'm, I don't have the room in my life to become a full time artist, even though I, I'm not really sure if I wanted to. But besides that, I, uh, I, I just hadn't the time and I still don't have the time. But I like to paint uh, as good as I can. And yes, I'm making money from my, from my art, I'm selling art and. Um, uh, selling uh, postcards and that kind of uh, stuff and I think I could sell more art but I'm really not into the commercial uh, subject I, I am um, selling some sometimes uh, like I said paintings but I'm not not promoting my uh, my uh, art uh, as good as I basically should have maybe but yeah it doesn't matter too much to me because I have my daily job and uh, I just like to make art, so I don't want to spend my all 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 of my free time uh, in trying to sell my art. But yeah, I am. Um, I try to sell enough to buy new art supplies. That was something. Uh, that was a kind of a goal for me. I th think that would be uh, a reasonable reasonable uh, goal in my situation. So I have my daily job. I'm making art, and. It costs money because we need good art supplies and I'm buying good art supplies. Most of the times though, those are art supplies are a little bit more expensive um, than, uh, yeah, for example, I could buy cheap paint in uh, kind of um, the, the stores where you can buy cheap paint. There are different stores, a lot of uh, stores you can buy cheap paint, but that is, that doesn't suit my, um, style of, of painting and as, uh, as an artist because when I sell art I just I, I want it to be as good as I can and also um, the quality of the, the the supplies that I'm using so therefore I'm buying uh, the more uh, most of them more expensive art supplies and um, so I need money for that and therefore I try to uh, save money when I'm um, selling a painting I save that, that money and use that for uh, for new art supplies. So therefore, um, I think you don't have to be a uh, professional artist to be good in art. Um, and I came up with this subject because I, I did look at that, uh, like I said, when I started painting, in the beginning I, I thought that, uh, that that was the big influence, sis, but the best influence is just how often you are painting or drawing, because the, in general, the things you do uh, quite a lot, you will get better and better in it. And so therefore, I um, I think it was um, uh, Jason, Jason, uh, oh, I, Jason Morgan. That was is his name. Jason Morgan. Uh, I heard him mention some in some tutorial somewhere that um, it's and that's years ago. So I don't remember which tutorial it was, but. Um, that it, uh, at least try to uh, paint to draw for at least 10 minutes a day and I never did forget that and uh, I did I, yeah I, I kind of did I, there were a few days in a year that I missed not uh, I missed by not uh, not painting or, or uh, drawing but basically every day I was uh, painting or drawing and I still do because I like it very much and I want to go better and better and um, practice a lot of course but uh, yeah so I started with uh, at least 10, 10 minutes and what he also told um, in the tutorial is if if you start 
uh, painting, uh, for example, painting uh, uh, 10 minutes a day, most of the times you will end up uh, painting even more than you originally thought uh, of doing. So you started um, thinking you would paint for 10 minutes, but you ended up painting maybe uh, for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, something, something like that. I'm sorry, something like that. So um, I did that, and that is that changed my life because. I was practicing and I was practicing a lot and I still do it because I like it so it's uh, it's also it, it's just therapy for uh, uh, clearing my head and um, dealing with stuff that I don't like or something like that but the art is helping me a lot with that but yeah so I uh, so that is um, what I start do uh, start doing um, yeah basically taking my art more serious seriously serious sir seriously and uh, so um, I started uh, painting and drawing qu uh, quite a lot and like I said it did, did change everything because you are learning so much and also you are um, more able to remember it better because you are practicing so a lot. And if you don't um, practice a lot and you learn something and you, in the beginning I thought oh I'm gonna write it down and I, uh, because I don't uh, cannot remember everything so I go well that that work didn't work out because I ended up writing so much information down that I cannot, couldn't find the uh, right information back, and it took a long time to find it. And so I thought, no, that's not going to work. I uh, I uh, write some some stuff down if it's very important for me. But just by doing it and doing it and doing it every day, you will remember it. So therefore, uh, that helps also. So if you ask me, that is a very very great and big tip. If you are uh, want to get better in art, practice as much as you can, and if you do that, you don't have to be a professional or to, um, be on a professional level to make professional art. If that makes sense, you can be a hobbyist like me and make professional art. Um, if you ask me, once again, it's it's also kind of personal what you um, see as professional art. I uh, am talking about a level, a level of painting or drawing. I refer to paintings because it's a little bit easier, but um, but it works the same, obviously, for paintings and drawings. But I'm referring to the level that you paint. If you are a professional, um, it, um, you obviously are making money from it, if you ask me, of course. But yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. It's uh, the level of art and um, yeah, I think it's doable. You can read, so don't get in, uh, um, don't get, in, not encouraged, uh, I'm looking for the other words. But uh, start painting if you like, if you want to get better, uh, just start and don't hesitate, just start. And what also is a very, very big tip if you do that is don't get um, frust frustrated if your uh, paintings are not showing up as for example artists you like because then you are getting in a negative uh, circle negative setting and that is very important you need to stay positive and you need to um, encourage yourself to uh, stay positive and um, um, because that will help learning and it makes sense because if you like something you can remember it better uh, are uh, more if yeah you can yeah I think you can remember it better and you uh, because you it's it's a nice memory you have and um, I like to ma make nice memories and not bad memories so therefore uh, I did have to learn not to watch um, in the wrong way to uh, art of other people because it can help it can uh, it can help you if you look to other uh, uh, art made by other people. And especially art you like, but try to find things that you do like and which you don't like as much in your own paintings, and try to get it better. Try to ask yourself questions. I, I ask myself a lot of questions while I'm painting, and yeah, I'm a bit strange person. It's okay, I know it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it helps me. It helps to to uh, remind myself um, to to a subject that I uh, that. that are very important and uh, to learn just try to ask yourself the questions that somebody else could ask you and um, for example how to make things or how to 
yeah, uh, how to uh, mix a certain color, that kind of stuff. I do that all the time, especially with colors. Oh, it's it's like I cannot control it. If I <laughs> see something uh, nice, uh, for example, a nice leaf while when I'm uh, taking a walk, and I I'm just always asking myself which colors I see, how to make those colors, and uh, I did. Um, I did uh, start practicing that uh, when I was uh, more ser serious about uh, mixing colors. And in about uh, four or five months after that, I came up with a tutorial that I have on my channel how to mix uh, your colors quick and easy. I think that's the title of it. Um, because that changed my life. Uh, uh, mixing uh, colors. It, it really did change a lot. And it was uh, I'm, I'm using the Adobe Color Picker tool in uh, Photoshop, and it helps you to uh, to uh, it shows you the, the exact color because the computer doesn't lie. And if, if something gre is green, for example, and you think it's a blue uh, color, uh, you may not um, getting it as you like because it's obviously not green, so it will stay blue, and it can be very um, frustrating. Uh, not finding the right colors. Therefore, I really, really like um, the color picker picker tool, to g at least to get you started. Now I don't use it. I don't use it now because I, I I'm not focusing on the right colors exactly. And also, I'm as you can see, I'm building up. I'm building up details. I'm building up layers, and the exact colors aren't as important yet. That will come later. And by exact colors, um, I mean more the colors that, that I like because it's my painting. I can basically do any, anything with it that I like. So uh, that's one of the nicest things of making art, if you ask me. I, yes, I use reference photos, but I'm not copying the, those photos exactly. I don't do uh, hyper realism. It's, uh, and with hyper realism, everything should should look like a, uh, a photo. You uh, may not see the difference in between uh, the painting and the original photo. I'm not doing that. That would take a lot of time, and uh, yeah, it's just not my way of painting. I'm just painting a sperm whale, and I have a sperm whale on my screen now, and this one looks kind of the same. Kind of. Not yet, because I don't uh, have the details and everything uh, in right, of course, but uh, yeah, it's just, a, like I said, a reference. It helps me to adjust my, uh, my values and my colors. And that's basically all. So this is uh, how I think about something. Really, if you have an opinion about this, or you're watching this tutorial and would like to say something about it, or if you have your own experience, please feel free to share them uh, with me, with us, because I really want to to know. Uh, would like to know about um, how you uh, handling this subject or what your thoughts on this subject. But this is how I uh, I um, look at it and how I struggle it with in the beginning. I thought it would never be as good as uh, other artists because I didn't, uh, like I said, didn't uh, do it professionally. But that, those are two very different things. And they can become uh, more and more the same if you're trying to uh, build a uh, YouTube channel. And not like how, how I do it because I don't try to... Uh, yeah, I try to build a channel, so don't uh, don't uh, unsubscribe, please. <laughs> but I try to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a full time artist, like I said. So I don't. Uh, but I try to make a channel, and I like to make good content. And I just really, it's uh, it's really fun to make those tutorials. So I hope they are very helpful. Like I said, I hope uh, to to get more subscribers in time. But also on that subject, I I could do more. Uh, promoting on my channel and I'm not doing it, I'm trying to do it as much as I can, but yeah. Everything costs time, you know, and I always end up tr thinking that I'm uh, going to change that and then while I wasn't watching myself, I'm finding myself in front of the easel and, and painting again, <laughs> because I like to paint more. And also I can do that because I don't, um, don't have to live uh, from the money that I make from my art. It's a big difference, of course. <clears throat> and 
those details do also show up a little bit strange for me at least uh, while I'm sitting in really up close to the painting but because those details are very uh, visible now because I'm uh, very up close so uh, quite often I have to uh, take my distance and watch my uh, painting in uh, from a distance because it makes a whole lot of, of sense then those details um, they do not now but if you um, back up a little bit more it's just like everything is falling into place more and more and more so therefore yeah from uh, a few meters of course is enough but <laughs> you get the point but uh, yeah so that's very very um, handy to do uh, quite often and also I don't know if you can see, you have it now I think uh, right about here in this corner I have a lot of glare on my campuses these days. There is something, I did change something here apparently, and it's, it's such, yeah, it sounds kind of strange, I think. With our lamps, or it, maybe it's the canvas, I don't know, but I have a lot of glare on my, my paintings these, these days, on, especially on this painting. And yes, I did use a glazing medium, normally I only use water, but if I do big areas, uh, and I'm not talking, uh, to the camera, I, uh, I use glazing mediums because uh, sometimes I found it a little bit easier. But most of the times I use just water. But now I did uh, use some glazing medium. And uh, but what? Uh, yeah, I, uh, because of the glare, I I didn't use it in this corner, but I did uh, use the airbrush. And when I use the airbrush, I have some glare. It's just because it's very smooth. And um, I think I think that's the reason. I, I'm not completely sure about that. But um, I don't like the, the glares, and I have three lamps here in my studio. They light lamps, so I shouldn't have that much of glare, and I, I have it. And I think I changed something in the setup. Uh, maybe while I was making photos, I make my photos also here on this easel, and um, maybe I changed something. I don't know. But it's, it's uh, very annoying. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, there is, will be some glare in this uh, tutorial. I tried to change it, but it's very hard. And especially, I, I like to paint uh, in the evening, most of the times, because well, um, during the day I, uh, I'm busy with other stuff, busy with my, my work or something else. And uh, Oh yeah, that's very important. I like, uh, would like to mention that also. Um, I was talking about earlier about the 10 minutes a day uh, practicing your art. Which, what also made a big, big difference for me was having my own art studio or a place to, to set my easel and my paints so you don't have to clean up everything uh, when you stop painting. Because if you only paint for uh, 10 minutes a day, that is too much trouble. And because uh, you have to. Um, yeah, clean up your tables and the uh, next day you will start painting again. You have to put everything on the table and on the easel again. And before you know, your 10 minutes are up. So that is not helpful. What is helpful is to have, uh, like I said, a space somewhere in your house where you're kind of comfor comfortable and uh, have a uh, good, uh, good light, of course. But a place where you can leave your art. So you can, <coughs> you can uh, start the day uh, after that. Uh, just where you left the painting. I just can grab my paints, I have it always uh, ready here on my table and uh, so I can only, ha if I have for 5 minutes or 10 minutes time a day I can just paint because I have everything uh, uh, out and, uh, and ready to go. That is a lot, that was a big difference when I uh, did get my art, own art space and when I started it wasn't a studio obviously because I was just a beginner and wasn't uh, thinking of an art studio. I just thought, well, I, I kind of like making art and like, uh, back then I was uh, drawing more. but So I didn't have my own space and I was uh, sitting uh, on the uh, dinner table. And our cats were, uh, cats were visiting me quite often because they uh, did really did like the pencils and was not painting with oil paint. So uh, and don't do that with your pets. Um, I only was drawing there with my pastels and um, with my pencils. So, uh, and see, I really like that. I have, uh, 
Somewhere I have a picture. If I can find it, I will show it a bit up in the screen. How she was uh, joining me while I was working. I, I, I think I have it somewhere. So uh, that was kind of funny. And uh, so yeah, they are not allowed in the studio. Well, sometimes when we uh, drink some coffee here, because uh, in the back you can see we have a table, and sometimes I drink some coffee with my husband here, just uh, because we like sitting and uh, like talking about the art I'm making or something else. But um, she is allowed to come in this room. But it depends on what I'm working with. If I'm working with oil paints or something uh, toxic, um, for example, if I just had airbrushed, uh, also I'm not uh, going to sit here to drink coffee, but for example, I'm not um, allowing my uh, pets to be in this room. It has to be safe, and acrylic paint is safe as long as they don't uh, eat it, obviously, or have it on their coats. But um, yeah, it's, it's non-toxic, so it can, uh, cannot hurt them. So if I'm drinking uh, some coffee with my husband, she is allowed to join us. But she knows it, she doesn't come here in a room, she stays uh, in front of the door and just uh, sitting there. As uh, I'm getting on the, on the lap of my husband. And um, because he likes to uh, have the cat sitting on them, on his uh, lap to uh, uh, just uh, um, uh, to... Uh, you have some uh, some uh, some time with the cat. I don't know how you uh, how you uh, said. It. I just forgot a word. Sorry, but um, uh, I don't uh, I I don't I like uh, my pets, but I don't like them to sit on my on my lap. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I need my space, and uh, they know it. They they are okay with it. I have a, a very nice. Uh, we have two dogs. We have uh, also a very ni a nice little dog. He's also he's always sitting next to me or behind me because I know he likes to sit with me. So I'm going a little bit in front, uh, sitting in front of the chair, so he can sit uh, uh, towards my back or leaning to my back. He likes that, but I don't like having them on my lap. Um, I don't know why. Just uh, it's too much in my own space, I think. And they just know it. They're okay with it. They they. Yeah, do not know better than that. So, but yeah, back to uh, the topic. Uh, she she is allowed to join us sometimes, but always be careful with art supplies and your uh, pets, because a lot of our uh, supplies are uh, very toxic. Oh, and if you hear the music in the background, it is from uh, a royalty-free uh, channel that I found on uh, on YouTube, and uh, I think it's a channel. I don't know. How, yeah, it's, it, they have a channel, obviously. But uh, yeah, I was watching two of them. One uh, one has uh, their own uh, website, but I uh, I didn't like the music as much, so I switched to this one. Because I don't like it to be uh, very quiet. I always have some music on. I really, really like listening to music. So, I think that I have to stop. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. Uh, because the time-wise, I have to upload this. And I don't know how long it will take me if I'm making it longer. And how nice it will be to watch a very long tutorial. Or a very uh, long vlog, I should say. Uh, so, I leave it by this. Um, like I said, this is my first one, so I will probably adjust uh, quite a lot about this, but I just want to start it and uh, just try it. So please, please leave me, uh, uh, let me know if you uh, if you like it. If you don't like it, it's okay. You can uh, let me let me know, letting me know that as well. So for now, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my uh, new vlogs or tutorials. Bye bye.